In the Virtual Environment Studio, we have a face wear motion capture helmet. Um, facial motion capture is a kind of a combination between some hardware and some software. Uh, the hardware side of things, we have a special helmet, a special set of cameras and lights and stuff that an actor or user of the space will wear at the time. It will take high frame rate video of them and then feed that into the software system that will then um, take that information and use it to understand how the muscles in their face are moving at any given point in time. Um, give us some points of data that you can then map to a digital avatar to have them reflect those realistic facial movements. I work as a graduate assistant for the virtual environment studio. So I've been working with all this equipment in order to set up a workflow, troubleshoot any errors, see how it works and document everything so that whenever a user who is not familiar or a new, new user comes in and want to work with this, there is a tried and tested user guide ready. Facewear is one of the major manufacturers of these for Hollywood. Um, so a lot of the major movies that come out in Hollywood that have some form of facial motion capture um, are using this helmet. We wanted our students and faculty to have the technology that they were most likely to use in a professional context when they left here. As a normal graduate student, I would never be able to even touch this technology because it's, it's so expensive. Just making all of this available through Virginia Tech libraries, it becomes more accessible. All of us can use it before we go into the workforce. It's kind of important for the university libraries and our mission of kind of lowering the barrier entry to technology to have this available to them.